From the Storm Team Weather Lab, KMAC meteorologist Kelly Ann Class. Well, get ready for a hot week. Temperatures are expected to be record breaking during some days, especially during the latter half of the week and into the weekend. And hot days obviously mean warm mornings, and that's exactly what we're seeing in some places across the South Plains. Currently 68 degrees here in Lubbock, 66 degrees in Post, 61 degrees in Paducah, and 64 degrees in Snyder. But I think a lot of us are really jealous to the folks off near the state line where they're reporting comfortable temperatures into the 50s, 51 degrees in Friona, 54 degrees in Muleshoe, and 55 degrees in Plains. Everyone, though, is going to feel the heat this afternoon. Temperatures are expected to rise up into the mid to upper 90s in some places near the Permian Basin, seeing the triple digits. Here in Lubbock, we could see a potential forecasted high of 94 degrees. That will tie our record of 94 set back in 1992. But if we get a degree above that, that will beat that previous record of 94 degrees. Now, if you're not a fan of the hot weather, you'll have a great day tomorrow. Tomorrow returns to near average temperatures into the upper 70s and lower 80s. Really should be a good one to spend outdoors before things warm up even more by later on this week. And that cooler air brought in by a weak cold front that'll pass through by this afternoon. That also could help to spark off a few showers and thunderstorms, especially down to the southeast and off of the Cap Rock. But it really begins to strengthen uh, as it hits more of the uh, the rolling plains and more of those areas as we get a little bit more of some instability. Rest of the area is expected to remain dry by later on this afternoon, so the storm chances will be limited for pretty much everybody. And in terms of severe weather, at least here locally, only Cottle and King County are in a marginal risk for severe weather, but that bigger severe weather potential lies well off to our east where there's a moderate risk for severe weather in place or portions of Fort Smith through Texarkana and even Sherman. The DFW area in an enhanced risk, same thing with Waco and Austin in a slight risk. So that means widespread severe weather activity is expected by later on this afternoon off to the east. So if you have family there or if you are going to be traveling there by later on today, you want to make sure you check up on them. And if you have to leave today, maybe try to hold off on that because it looks like damaging hail, winds and tornadoes could all be a major play in that area. And at least this morning, some of the DFW area also seeing some severe weather. This is a severe war and storm that goes until seven o'clock in the morning uh, for just outside of the Metroplex. Looks like it is slowly decreasing in its strength, but still dropping about ping pong to golf ball size hail. That is impressive for early in the morning, but here locally, no rain, just mostly clear conditions. A few clouds across the area. Nice thing though, we are getting a beautiful sunrise from our Wolforth Live Sky View as that sun slowly begins to rise just a little bit after seven o'clock in the morning. Today we'll be under mostly sunny conditions. It is expected to be hot. Temperatures into the mid nineties. We'll keep a west northwesterly wind at 10 to 20 miles per hour. And then tomorrow, a great day. Highs into the upper seventies and lower eighties. Under mostly sunny conditions, those winds will pick up at 15 to 25 miles per hour. So we will be under an elevated threat for fire weather tomorrow, and then we get hot after that. Friday and Saturday, we have the potential to break some records with triple digit heat on Friday. Saturday, still the upper 90s across the area. We'll keep the 90s through Sunday and Monday. So uh, I think many places and many people just want to stay indoors over the next few days. But tomorrow, if you have to get outside, it would be a good day.